All right, guys, this is my in-depth prediction for the pre-show match for No Way Out. It's going to be Brodus Clay, the Funkasaurus, versus David Otanga. This match was made, or I should say announced, on Monday Night Raw this week. And uh, really, there hasn't been... There's, real, there's no real storyline behind this, just like any other Brodus Clay match. I mean, on SmackDown, David Otanga did attack... Brodus Clay, I guess, to uh, make us interested in this match or give us a reason to tune into this match. Is Brodus Clay going to get his revenge against David Otunga for attacking him and attacking his uh, knee or his leg on SmackDown? Or is David Otunga going to break Brodus Clay's undefeated streak this Sunday at No Way Out? I don't think so. I don't think David Otunga is going to end anybody's undefeated streak. Although... I am a fan of Otunga, I just have to be realistic here. I don't think he's going to be the one to end Brodus Clay's streak. And although Brodus Clay is not exactly your main event superstar, he's more of a mid-carder, a comedy you know, type of superstar, kind of like Santino, but undefeated, you know, much bigger, and uh, dominates his opponent in less than five minutes, while uh, Santino is kind of the complete opposite, where most of the time he's the one getting dominated, and he pulls out, you know, some fluke victories, uh, I'd say 80% of the time. But, uh, yeah, I don't see it ending this Sunday at No Way Out, especially not against David Otunga. Um, what I would like to see, though, is David Otunga challenging Santino for the U.S. title and actually winning the U.S. title off Santino. Santino, as U.S. champion, hasn't been very good. You know, he hasn't, it's definitely not a Cody Rhodes type reign where he brought back, you know, value to the IC title, like I said in the Christian vs. Cody Rhodes video. So, I'm hoping David Otunga takes the title off Santino. And I think this match is just, you know, distraction, just, you know, just so could they could have an actual pre-show match. Last time it was Kane vs. Zack Ryder, and before that it was Santino vs. somebody, I think. I don't know. Santino versus The Miz, yeah. Speaking of The Miz, if anybody should end Brodus Clay's streak, I think maybe it should be The Miz if they plan on... Well, you know, he's supposedly right now uh, preparing for The Marine 3, so he's training for that, you know, the uh, the movie, so... I'm thinking he's gonna be on TV after they, they're done filming that to promote the actual movie. And once they do, you know, start promoting the movie, I believe The Miz is going to start winning some matches. At least, I think. But then you look at The Marine 2, where it was Ted DiBiase Jr. in there. And <laughs> look at it where he is right now. Well, he's injured right now, but before the injury, he was uh, pretty much a low carter, mid carter. The guy lost so many matches, so just because you get a movie role... In a WWE film, it doesn't mean you're necessarily, you know, gonna get pushed. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to see The Miz and Brodus Clay streak. Or maybe... And this is gonna sound weird, but I wouldn't mind Kane ending Brodus Clay streak. And I know some of you might be like, what the hell, Kane? He doesn't need this. He doesn't need to beat be Brodus Clay. There's no use in that. I'm just a Kane fan, and whenever Kane can look dominant, whenever Kane can... Uh, get a, a victory like this against another big guy. Uh, you know, I like it. Uh, whatever makes Kane look good and dominant, uh, I'm all for it. You know, because over the years, Kane has lost so many matches and has lost a lot of uh, credibility. I mean, going into this match, though, at No Way Out, his three-way match is looking good. Uh, on SmackDown, he chokeslammed both uh, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. So he's the one. I'd say he's the one with the momentum going into the matchup, although I'm pretty sure he's going to get uh, screwed over by AJ. But whatever, man. Uh, as far as Brodus goes, all of his matches practically, you know, there's no storylines, you know, for them. There's no, there's nothing behind them. There's no build behind them. It's just random matches with random heel superstars, sometimes not even from Raw or from SmackDown. It's guys like from NXT, like Derek, Derek Bateman. And it seems like they're running out of people to feed to Brodus Clay. So right now they're uh, they're giving him Otsanga. But after this, I'm hoping they start a storyline with you know Brodus Clay, having feud with somebody, maybe somebody like 
the Miz, like I said, but I'm pretty sure you know he's gonna be off TV for a while until uh, he finishes filming for the movie. But until then, when I think about superstars, I'd like to see feud with Brody Slay. I'd actually like to see Damien Sandow. I'm a fan of Damien Sandow and his uh, uh, just his promos, you know, ignoramus and all the you know those words he uses. Most of them I don't understand, but. I just like Damien Sandow, so I'd like to see Brodus Clay versus Damien Sandow. He could go on about how Brodus is an ignoramus and um, <laughs> fails to educate the WWE Universe. Instead, uh, does some stupid stuff like dancing and all that stuff. So yeah, I'd like to see Damien Sandow actually end Brodus Clay's undefeated streak. And uh, that'd be pretty cool. You know, I know Damien is on... Smackdown and Brodus is on. Oh no, actually, Brodus Clay is on Smackdown now. I forgot about that since uh, Big Show knocked him out and Johnny Ace prevented him or uh, banned him from ever appearing on Raw to protect him from the Big Show. So, yeah, I guess we could see Damon Sandow versus Brodus Clay, and I'd like to see that. That's that right now is my number one, you know, feud I'd like to see between Damon Sandow and Brodus Clay. They're both undefeated. Bruce Clay obviously has had more matches. I don't know if you can actually call Damon Sandow undefeated just because he's had, like, what, two, maybe three matches so far. So, uh, I think it's too soon to, to call him undefeated, although he is. But before that, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Damon Sandow was actually a WWE superstar in the past. He was uh, a part of that tag team with, uh, I don't know what the other guy's name was. He was... In like 2007, I believe, or 2008, he was a part of a tag team on SmackDown, where Michelle McCool was managing them. When Michelle McCool was playing the whole uh, school school teacher gimmick, uh, back then, obviously, he wasn't called Damon Sandow. He was called Idol Stevens, and I was surprised when I found that out. You know, when I searched Damon Sandow on Wikipedia, I was surprised that I saw this guy before on SmackDown a couple years back, and he he looks. He doesn't look the same, you know, the beard completely changed his look. I mean, when I saw Damien Sandow for the first time when they showed the vignettes, I was like, hey, this is a new guy, but apparently, you know, he was a part of that tag team uh, with that other guy. I don't remember the other guy's name with Michelle McCool as her manager. But getting back to this match, you know, for the short time left in this video, like I said, my pick still remains. I'm going with Brodus Clay, remaining undefeated and defeating David Otonga this Sunday at No Way Out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm out. See ya.